Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Mercedes Benz Sundar Motors Chennai near Anandagar. So I would like to thank them for allowing me to be with the cars and you can check out the details of the Mercedes Benz Sundar Motors in the description below. So big shout out to them and this is what the showroom looks like. It's a big showroom. So let's come back to the car which I am taking today for the shoot. So which is the Mercedes Benz GLA facelift. So there were mild changes in the uh, variant lineup and the car as well so when you come to the front you get this bold big mercedes logo and you get different slats as well black dot slats and this beautiful elegant grill so you get 360 degree camera as well so which is a new feature chrome at the bottom of the front end so that's good front parking sensors and when you come to the lights you get this led high performance lights dr as well so yeah, I mean the look is good. It has that bold crossover look, the Mercedes-Benz GLA. So when you come to the side, the tire size is 23555R18s. So you get five lug nuts and the Mercedes logo. Front and rear disc brakes, that's obvious. So you get body climbing as well to give it a more SUV-ish look. So you get the camera here, turn indicators, and you get the chrome exterior door handle, beautifully painted here and blacked out B pillar as well. So if you come to the top, you get uh, panoramic sunroof as well, or you can say dual sunroof from the front and the rear. So if you come to the rear, you get these beautiful LED lights and front and rear lights. The headlight and the tail lights have gotten a mild change since it's a facelift. So GLA 220D written over the formatic. So the length of the car is 4412 mm. And the wheelbase is 2729 mm. So let's just open the boot. So you have one touch electric tailgate, just press the button and it opens. So this is how the boot looks 425 liters. So the boot loading lip is kind of good, it's low, so easily you can slide in big suitcases. And the sh boot shaping is well as well. So you get a light here, and yeah, the boot is well sealed. You get a space saver tire as well, so it's well packaged overall. Yes. So let's just close it, one touch and it closes. You can also lock the car from the boot itself, partial chip is given over there. So let's just open the rear door. So the rear door opens wide so you can easily get in and get out. So when you come in, one thing you notice that, let's just close the door first. Yes, the door has the thud, that good feel is there in the door. Obviously, the build quality is just top notch of Mercedes Benz or any German car you take it in the uh, perspective. So, legroom and knee room is good. <laughs> Headroom is also good. I'm six feet and have like three or four inches more. So, taller people than me would be comfortable. Another thing to show is that you get a light here, a handle and a hook. So, the visibility also is good. The seats are a bit tall, but I think it can be lowered as well. So, coming here, you get rear AC vents, some space here, a bottle holder here, twin USB C's, and the floor is actually, it's actually, I'm surprised that generally the German cars have it a lot higher, but the GL is having it a little lower, so that makes it more comfortable for the third passenger who will be seated over here. So, three adjustable headrests are there, so that's good. All of them are being taken into account, so yeah. I mean, good backseat, the seats are comfortable and you can nicely stretch out. So, a kind of chauffeur treatment also is given over here. So, that's good. So, the safety. Now, let's talk about the safety. You get 7 airbags, ABS, EBD, EAC traction control, hill hold control, hill descent control. And you get uh, tire pressure monitoring system. You get blind spot monitor. So, many safety systems are active brake assist as well. So, let's just get to the front seat. Yeah, you get height adjustable seat belts as well. So this how you just get lumbar support as well and the electronic front seats with memory function as well. So let's just close it. Again, the door pockets here are just big, so easily a one liter bottle will fit here. Electronic parking brake, automatic headlights as well. So, let's just come to the center console. You get a driver armrest with some space. 
twin USB C's over here as well. So earlier there was a rotary dial, then a touchpad. All of them have been removed for some space here, so it looks more elegant and clean right now. So you get the dynamic mode selector, which is the drive mode selector, the volume control, and the parking camera option. Like you can view the parking camera, twin cup holders, and a wireless charger with a USB C as well. So you get these turbine-like AC vents and you get emulating inside them as well. Dual zone automatic climate control. Let's just switch on the ignition. Okay. Yes. So first let me tell you the screens. These are two 10.25 inch screens with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Navigation, Mercedes, Me, Connected, CarTech as well. So let me show you the steering wheel first. You get the option to control the screen and the multi information display from here. And you get the volume control, the call attending and declining the call uh, function. You get the cruise control settings as well. So this is the system. Let me show you the different types of views. Like you have classic, you have sport. Let me just put it and show it to you. Yes. Oh, sorry. So you have sport as well. Then you have navigation you have assistance you have off-road as well so this is a new mode which have been added the off-road mode like whenever you it shows the compass as well the angle at what you are at so many systems have been added so that's great you get the trip meter the speedometer the rpm meter absolutely great the graphics is like crystal clear and user experience which is also known as the uh, mbux mercedes-benz user experience is absolutely slick so, I mean, let's just show you the system as well. So, you get navigation, phone projection, video, you have media, apps, comfort, and let me show you the comfort as well. You have seat kinetics, a small kind of, you know, when you go on the highways, you uh, it's there not to, you know, tighten your well, muscles and stuff to keep you active. You have color ambient lighting, you have 64 color options, which is the most provided in the segment uh, mercedes benz has always been the best in ambient lighting like making ambient lighting and you have off-road mode as well shows your angle like what angle you're going in the uh, below the body also shows the wheels that are at which direction and all of those stuff. You have not okay then you have settings so let me show the dynamic mode selector as well. Oh god. Yeah. So you have five settings here. Let me show you this. So you have comfort, eco, sport, off-world and individual. So individual is like you can con configure your own settings as well. So yeah, overall a good system. This thing is good. So you get a cool glove box as well and some space over here to keep your mobile phone or something. And this is also good, a new touch added that you get Mercedes star patterns here and image lighting is also integrated into it. So let's just switch off, switch it off and yes. So let me show you the engine bear. Let me show you the key as well. So you get this Mercedes key, you get lock and lock and direct, you can boot from the key. That, that's the, like the normal one which you used to get on the earlier, the pre phase of GLA. So just pull a lever and it opens, it's very light to do it and it has hydraulic struts as well. So it's easy to do. So if you see this, it's a 2 litre engine. So this is the GLA 220D4 Matic. So basically you get three variant options in the GLA which is the GLA 200, the GLA 200 petrol. So the petrol has 1.3 liter turbo petrol, 163 horsepower, and 270 nm of torque. So they've increased the torque output. And the zero to 100 is 8.9 seconds. So we made it to a 7 speed DCT, dual clutch transmission. And this is the 2 liter diesel, the GLA 220D. So it has 4 wheel drive as well. So the 4 wheel drive, the GLA 220D produces 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Made it to an 8 speed DCT, doing zero to 107.5 seconds. And yeah, obviously the top speed is about 220 kilometer per hour, so it's a four-cylinder engine. So, I mean, there's an option of a AMG line as well. The GLA 220D is there, 
the first is the GLA 200, then it's the GLA 220D. Then you get the GLA 220D 4MATIC uh, AMG line. You get this AMG bits like the AMG wheels. There's some difference in the dimensions as well. The sports seats you get. So man, many of the features are added in the AMG line. But specifically, you get all the goodies, whatever you want in the GLA 220D 4MATIC itself. So the AMG line is just a more sportier option. So overall, yeah, I mean, it's it looks more fresher now as those required bits like the 360 degree camera and the comfort seats as well also the electric seats are different with memory functions all of those so it's great four wheel drive off-road mode whatever you name it so yeah a big step up from the earlier gla and a great overall package so if you have any doubts you can you can comment on youtube comment on instagram dm me on instagram i can help you anytime you want i can help you get to connect with the dealers as well so thank you so much please do like share comment and subscribe and do let me know your views of the mercedes-benz gla in the comment section below also please check out the details of the mercedes-benz sundar motors in the description below thank you